A local businessman accused of setting his own food truck on fire and then collecting online donations was back in court today. Fox 5's Alani Latang is live outside the courthouse with what was decided. Alani. Kathleen, today a judge determined that there is enough evidence to send Avante Hartsfield to trial, accused of burning down his own food truck in 2021. So today, inside the courtroom, we heard from SDPD detectives, detectives with the San Diego County District Attorney's Office. We also heard from State Farm Insurance. Now, this is the sixth time this is being sent to a preliminary hearing, and it finally wrapped up today after a long six hours in court. Hartsfield is a local business this man, like you said, and he's headed to trial in an arson and insurance fraud case. But the preliminary hearing to determine if there was enough evidence that started late and that did not make the judge happy. He was very upset, um, even giving Hartsfield a lecture about that. Hartsfield is accused of setting his own food truck on fire, rolling roots in October 2021. Plus, he's accused of taking money from insurance companies and even donors under false claims. At the time, Hartsfield claimed someone targeted his business and the fire was a hate crime. Hartsfield said two days before the fire, someone left a noose hanging over his office door and cut power cords to his truck. A year later, in November 2022, prosecutors charged Hartsfield with Hartsfield with arson and insurance fraud in connection with the blaze. Now in court, the prosecutors played surveillance video near the truck the night of the fire. San Diego Metro arson strike team detective John Clayton testified Hartsfield's a appears to be in the video right before and right after the fire. Hartsfield also faces a grand theft charge. A GoFundMe for him raised more than $100,000, plus Sequan tribal officials donated $20,000. But in March, he backtracked, saying that his, on the GoFundMe page that the fire was actually started from an electrical mishap and then offered to refund the money to those donors. The arson detective said part of this investigation included speaking with a former employee. They say this employee claimed the business was not doing well financially and Hartsfield had to run the business by himself after workers quit because they were not being paid their tip money. A bulk of the afternoon was also spent around phone calls between Hartfield and Clayton, that's the arson detective, and in those phone calls, Hartsfield claims he saw someone with a gun near his truck the night of the fire and fled. Then in another phone call, Hartsfield said he believes the fire started with a rice cooker that got left on inside the truck. Now the arson detective went to his fire investigator and that fire investigator told him there's no way the fire started how Hartsfield described it. We want to show you, we want, want you to listen to a piece of that phone call when the detective told Hartsfield that news. Well, I know for a fact, we all do here at the office that, that you started the fire. It's just a matter of, do you want to own it, be honest, and now ask for forgiveness so you can move on, or keep up with, with the lie, Avante? That's, that's where we're at. Avante is due back in court in two weeks for an arraignment. If convicted, he faces seven years and four months in prison. Now, Hartsfield is representing himself. He doesn't have a lawyer, and he told us that he can't really discuss further about this case, but said that today's outcome is what he expected and that he will continue to represent himself throughout his criminal proceedings. Reporting live outside the courthouse in downtown, I'm Alani Latang, Fox 5 News.